I've been saying that if you're going to hold your nose and vote for Hillary Clinton, that's fine. The people who are doing that think that they're helping her when they defend her disingenuously. It doesn't. People know who Hillary Clinton is. So you can't BS people about her anymore. She's been in public eye for 30 years. We know who she is, right? So that's why when all these uh, lefty journalists who are revealing that they have just as much integrity as right-wing journalists, when they write articles about how could she be corrupt? What are you talking about? There's no quid pro quo, blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. It doesn't help her. Don't try to pretend she's honest. Don't try to pretend she's not in bed with Wall Street and the people she's supposed to be regulating. Say, I'm holding my nose and voting for her because Donald Trump is a true menace. That, that, that might win you some votes. Going to, pretending that Hillary Clinton isn't horrible just makes people more angry. It doesn't work. We pointed out on the show a million times how horrible guys like Peter Dow are and Joan Walsh and the editor of Mother Jones, that Clara Jeffrey. They're just, just ridiculous things they're writing. They, they were writing that Bernie was a sexist and he was a misogynist. They were writing that stuff and how Hillary is a better candidate in November. And we all knew it, that they were gaslighting us and they were all wrong. So here's another example. I'm going to give you another example. Charlie Crist. Governor of, uh, former governor of Florida. Owner of Charlie Chris Steakhouse. Charlie Chris Steakhouse. He's a sister of Ruth, Ruth okay. Chris. So he's uh, at a debate. He's running for the, uh, he's running for Senate in Florida now, right? Isn't that it? Yeah. And he's, he's, he's very much a centrist. He's... Yeah, he's very much a centrist. Now he's a Democrat. Right. Right. That was the whole thing about him. He was an independent, and then the Republicans say, this guy is a rhino. And so now he's running as a Democrat. And uh, so here's listen to what he said at the debate just the other day. And he was talking about Hillary Clinton. And uh, again, it doesn't help to lie. It doesn't help to try to BS your own voters about Hillary Clinton. How does that help? Here's going to be an example. This is at the Democratic debate. I represent. You're going to support. You voting for your party's nominees, Governor? I am. I am. I am proud of Hillary Clinton. I think she's been a, a very good Secretary of State, a very good Senator from the State of New York. Okay, stop there. Stop there. She was a very good Secretary of State. She was a very good. Although she, <laughs> Libya. I don't say that's a good Secretary of State. Just stop there. People don't know enough to push back yet on that. That She just was Secretary of State recently. We don't know enough about how horrible she was and all the bad things she did. We don't know about it yet. We do know she didn't take sniper fire, <laughs> like Brian Williams. So just stop there, but he can't. He can't stop there. He has to go one step too far. He has to try to BS the voters he wants to support him. Always a bad idea, especially when it's an aid of someone else. Here we go. The thing I like most about her is I believe that she is steady. I believe that she is strong. Uh, I believe that she is honest. Uh, and I look forward to voting for her. <laughs> Governor, Governor Chris. Oopsie. You just can't shut up. You can't. You had to push it too far. Just like Howard Dean the other day couldn't help himself. Oh, Hillary's feeling great. She's probably already in her bed talking to donors, Skyping with donors. Can't stop. You can't stop it. You're just so used to lying for her. You just can't stop. Yeah, what I like about her is uh, she's steady and uh, she's honest. <laughs> <laughs> like you're lying about someone being honest. Let me finish. Let me finish. That was laughter. That wasn't booing. That was laughter. People laugh. That's uh, laughing. Laughing is an involuntary response. It wasn't like people said if, they, if he ever says that we're all gonna laugh, right? No, they just laughed because they didn't even know he was gonna say something that stupid. Not helping. Lie. The thing that makes us different, or supposed to, or I always thought made us, one of the big differences of the left and the right, is that the right wing is all about propaganda and, and fooling voters into supporting a right wing corporate agenda that screws them over and only helps the wealthy. I thought that was the right wing, and then their pundits do the same thing, pretending trickle down works, and pretending that the more pre war is good, and pretending all that stuff. And now the left is doing it for her. And that doesn't help. It just makes the half the people who aren't voting not want to vote more. 
I don't think that's true. I think Chris actually there, there are there are substantial people within the Democratic Party who honestly feel like, oh, she's a very uh, my experience with her has been she's been very sincere. She seems very honest to me, and they just run with that. They're not pulling one over on anybody. And then well, there's those, another. Those, those people are the dumbest people in the world. <laughs> there's another uh, element <laughs> within. I so I don't know who. If you could give me a name, I would like to hear it because I don't believe that. I don't believe anybody who knows her thinks she's honest or sincere. I, I just don't agree with you. I don't that you're just making that up. No, I think that there are people who genuinely who? believe that. I, I Debbie Washerman Schultz. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna question had to the resign source on shame. that one. She had to, she's also corrupt. She's no. Everyone she's, knows what's happening, Robert, in America. Everyone knows how corrupt our co our government is. Our politics are. Everyone knows. Everyone knows the Iraq War was a lie, and she went along with it. Anyone. Everyone knows this. She did that for politics. She let other people be murdered, slaughtered, genocide. She didn't even fight, hold, hold, not genocide, slaughter of hundreds of thousands of people for oil, and she let it happen. She, in fact, she supported it. So no one thinks she's not that who she is. Bill Clinton knows she's a liar. I know she's a liar. They're all liars. The whole system is corrupt. So stop saying that. What that, that doesn't help anybody. I'm, I'm not saying... That she's not a liar. I know you're not. And saying I'm not that. saying <laughs> that, but I'm saying that there are plenty of people who genuinely feel she's she's not. And we call those it, people marks. But but they're not. <laughs> but I'm I'm saying they're not lying. They're not trying to put one over on you. I don't you. know anybody like that. Okay, I I don't. Everybody I know who even voted for, they go, yeah, of course she's corrupt. Of course. Listen, I've heard you claim with a straight face. Uh oh, what did I say? That a Donald Trump presidency would be a good thing, and you no, were no, saying no. that you were saying that in defense of your own position. I'm not saying there a good thing. There are plenty of fucking there are plenty of fucking people who will say anything to defend their position, and if their position is Hillary Clinton, they will say it with a straight face, and yeah, they will I know. convince not them helping. fucking selves. I'm of not it. saying Donald Trump, but please don't misrepresent. I'm not saying Donald Trump would be a good thing. You said it would it would be a good thing for this country because it would reignite the left. Well, it, I'm saying let's look for, let's make lemonade. I'm saying let's look for a silver lining. Let's not be so afraid of Donald Trump because of what all those things I've said. Hillary Clinton has proven she's all the things people are afraid Donald Trump is going to be.